Well, glad you're still with us on Colorado and Company. Well, interest rates are on the rise and credit card debt. Well, it's getting bigger. We wanted to know what ways we can all manage our credit better. Well, we are lucky to be chatting with financial attorney Leslie Tain. Leslie, it's good to see you. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me today. This is a trending topic for sure, but let's start with this. What are the top problems that consumers can face when those interest rates start going up? When interest rates going up, you can expect some day to day purchases to be super expensive, including revolving debt like credit card debt, even private student loans and mortgage debt can also go up pretty considerably when you start to see interest rates go up. Yeah, it, it, it impacts so many things. Now, what can we do to kind of help ease that burden of the high interest credit cards, especially when we're trying to keep a budget? It's really important to take a look at your budget on a daily or weekly basis when things are changing as rapidly as they are. When you start to see your expenses going up and you're not sure where that's coming from, it's a good idea to write down what type of debt you have and the interest that is on each one of those debt. So for example, if you have two or three or four different credit cards, you definitely want to be in the know as far as what the interest rate is and the best possible way within your budget to pay that down. Okay, now let me ask you this. Can researching your credit score, online searches, or even making those online purchases hurt the credit score? I've always been curious about this. There's two types of credit pulls. One's considered a soft pull and one's a hard pull. A soft pull generally does not impact the score. A hard pull would. A hard pull is when you're applying for something like a mortgage, a new credit card, any type of new credit application, a car. That's a hard pull on the credit report and that can drop your credit score by a few points. Remember, credit scores go up and down and they fluctuate monthly regardless. But if you have multiple card credit pulls, then you could see your score go down pretty considerably. The soft pull, and you can always ask, you know, if I'm applying for this, is it going to impact my credit? Is it a hard pull or a soft pull? Okay, then th th we need to be asking those questions, but I have seen certain things where it says a soft pull, and that is something to pay attention to. Now, let's talk debt. We all want to get rid of it. Where are, or th what's the best place to start? The best place to start is really internally. What's happening in your household? Money that goes in and goes out. So many clients come to me and they're really unaware of the actual amount of debt they have and the income that comes in on a regular basis. Know your expenses. It's really the best place to start. There's no way to determine whether you can afford to buy something if you don't understand money that comes in and out of your household. And basically that's a budget. Yes, very true. Now, big purchases are on the horizon for a lot of people. Uh, some people are in the market for cars, homes. What is the best way, though, to buy those big ticket items? Well, today there are lots of opportunities to buy big ticket items, but you want to be aware of how that's impacting the purchase with the interest rates the way they are. With interest rates up on most major purchases like houses and cars, understand that your dollar doesn't go as far. So the best ways to combat that are to put cash down, more money down on those purchases, make sure that your credit is in pristine condition so you're getting the best possible interest rates, and remember to try to negotiate. Now, things cost more, so therefore you might want to ask questions like can I get can I get this lowered or how can I finance this you know where my amount of money is not costing me as much so there's always a cost to borrowing the question is what is that cost to borrowing and that's something that you need to calculate before you just say yes look at the interest rate what ways you can you can reduce that and most of the time it's by putting as much money down as possible and being in the best possible credit position to get the best rates Okay, see that that makes sense. Now, what are your three quick tips for keeping more money in our pockets? Today, cash is king. Keep more money in your pocket by putting money into high yield savings accounts. There's lots of them online and you are protected by the FDIC up to $250,000. And there are additional ways if you have more money than that in the bank, there's actually other ways to protect your money. So online banks with high interest yields, that's a great way to have your money work for you. Look at your budget carefully and see the things that you can cut out. What's no longer a necessity? Remember, we're sort of post pandemic 
pandemic at this time. So you might have had different expenses during the pandemic. And even now, take a look at ways in which your money can work for you instead of you having to work for your money. Got it. Good stuff there. Well, thanks so much, Leslie, for being with us this morning. I appreciate all that advice. Thank you. Of course. Well, April is National Credit Education Month, and there's a lot to know about managing your credit. You can access local free resources through Colorado.gov.